Hello and welcome to episode 28 of On The 50. Today I sat down with Mike Davis. Mike is the director of Freedom Percussion from St. Louis, Missouri, an independent world group. He has also been a DCI percussion judge since the year 2000. So he has seen and judged really some of the drum lines that I would consider to be the best ever and some of my favorites for sure. Um, Mike's an awesome dude. He is definitely an OG. He has really been through the activity. Uh, he marched in the 80s and he has been involved ever since, both teaching and judging. We discussed the evolution of percussion and drum corps uh, since judging, since he started judging, um, and even from before that. We also talked about um, ways to build up local areas. Mike is heavily involved in the St. Louis area in general, and just trying to build that area up into something substantial on the map in terms of marching arts. Um, so we talked about, you know, what are the methods that other areas have used to um, get more quality, build more groups, um, just get more involvement in general. Um, we talked about the uh, state of membership and auditioning for drum corps these days. And the conversation honestly just went in a million different directions and uh, it was just super awesome. I, I think Mike is a great judge. Uh, he's an awesome dude. He's a mentor to a lot of people that I know who have moved into instructional and design roles in the activity. So I just had a blast catching up with him. I, I usually would have seen him probably like five or six times by, by this point over the summer judging. Um, so it was great just to, to catch up with Mike, so highly recommend this one. You're gonna enjoy it. Like if you watch a color guard video, you know it's like rifle goes in the air, they catch, yay! yeah, you know, like if something's slightly off in the percussion arena, it's like, mm, sorry, nope. I mean, I've seen audiences on nights, man, just go, yes, yes. Oh yeah, oh You're not getting yeah. it. Sorry, yeah. So, um. You know, I, I that's what I try to bring to my kids. And, and when I talk to them, it's just like, you guys, like, I know that you all want to be, you know, everybody wants to see their name and lights. But, you know, you can't, you can't just get up in the morning and run a marathon without training hard for it. You know, like, you just can't do it unless you're a superhuman or something like that. And you're on steroids or something. But. I it's the outcome, you know, it's there. it's the outcome yeah. of a process. It's like, and this is like, I mean, you were talking about YouTube before and about the exposure. And I think I'm, I think I stopped marching like right when this maybe started. Like I, I yeah. aged out in 12, but I, I marched 2011 and, mm -hmm. um, and, and that is where I feel like this idea about band fame started to happen where people, you know, yeah. and actually before that, and as you know, you probably know Justin Lewis who uh, mm -hmm. taught Gateway and was in the Blue Coats. I remember yep. him having a little bit of like that fame, you know, he was like, he had mm -hmm. the gauges, he had like long hair, he kind of looked different. He had, he had a really cool technique the way he played and those drum lines at Blue Coats were unbelievably awesome and the name recognition starts to happen oh uh, yeah on the member level you know we have some recognition as as judges as as instructors and as designers there is a like a little bit of a a hierarchy or like a celebrity to it even though obviously we all know the level of that and the financial level of that is like a joke compared to the real <laughs> you know to, to, to actual celebrities but i yeah. think i think kids look at you know the center snare thing or the oh, the um yeah. you know the the band fame of it and they're like that's what i want but it's like yeah. it's like if you just make that your goal you're going to miss all the parts where like you're basically a scrub and you're just going to get called out but you have to fix it and it's like yeah. it, you got to make it about like actually getting acquiring chops like being a good yeah. member and like like learning mm -hmm. how to play in the line and like all these things that that really are going to lead you towards that success at the high end and i think kids now with the access that they have they're just like i want the fame i want the fame but it's like you don't have yeah. chops yeah you could post your you videos don't. on instagram yeah. but i would not i see people on instagram with twenty thousand followers that I would <laughs> that I would and have cut from Crown or Mason like kids that right. they can't play on a yeah. drum you can, you right. can't make sounds of a drum so it's like mm -hmm. it's just a weird like like do you want the the instantaneous positive feedback as an Instagram celeb or do you want to like be in a drum line because that's not always glamorous. right I you know wow man I I've, I've been a part of that conversation so much because 
you know, even at Freedom, we'll, we'll get kids, you know, and I oh, really want to be sexing later. And I'm going, you know, like, I don't care about that, you know, and, and it's not that, yes, we need a, a section leader, but do you want it so you can sit there and tap off and everybody knows who you are at the end of the day? Because I can tell you what, when I'm in front of a group and I'm putting a number down, I could care less who's tapping off for them. That doesn't matter at all, you know, like, oh, hey, that's so-and-so. Well, there's five more tents tonight, you know, like, it doesn't yeah. happen. You know, like, um, and I, yeah, you're right. These kids want that fame and it, it, it's, it's not about that. And, and that is not on any judging sheet ever that I've seen, you know, like who's the center snare. Oh, okay. You know, like cool. Five more tents or whatever that, it, that doesn't happen. But yeah, man, they, they want that movie star fame and they want to be noticed. But you know, like you talked about, about Justin, you know, Justin was in the group throwing down that's it, it was his presence and how he you know and yourself you know like you're center for cabbies right yeah. you know like it's like i didn't look at you i didn't look at you as like oh that kid's a superstar i looked at you as like and that guy's really confident in what he's doing he's he's you can tell the group follows him and you can also tell that the group is on the same page. It looks right. that's how it looks like from the outside. Right. And you know, and then bam, you know, here you guys you went you guys went drums that year. And it's like you could tell that strong leadership brought that through. You know, um, and that's what you need. Um, you need, hey guys, let's all get on the same page. Follow me in the fire. I'm gonna take you there. Be confident about that. Let's go team, you know. Right. Chicken or the egg type of situation because yeah. that perception is always like finals. You know, when you when you're glorifying a group and some of the groups we've yeah. even talked about, it's like you're looking at a product, but yeah. that product is so it's just it's just from everything that led up to it, and like yeah. that that's not that's not a glamorous process. You know, like I no. like I said, like I marched five years at, at a drum corps, nobody cared who I was. I was getting cut from the right. cadets year after year i mean just just so much and just it was like i'm never gonna march you know i felt like it was never gonna happen so when i was when i finally was like in a context where it's like oh this is the top level like i'm just like i can't believe this i'm i'm right. just you know i'm i'm just trying to soak in how lucky i am to have that experience and i think kids now are like do think they deserve to be in these DCI groups that are at the top level. It's like, this is an elite activity. We don't just, this is not a volunteer gig, you know? And like, I mean, working with Tom Hannum, that's been really big with him is like the professionalism is like, if you expect yeah. at the end to be, to win drums, guess what yeah. you need to do in October or, oh, yeah. or September, yeah. you know, it's just yeah. like, and we've, and it, I mean, this is like a cultural thing and I, I'm really interested in, in your perspective on how the activity has changed since 2000. But I think culturally this idea of instant gratification, it's, we are victims of it as well, you know, as members, oh, as, as, yeah. as auditionees, they go to the, the camp and they want to be at DCI finals. It's like, yo, we're going to work on like piano legatos. This is what we do. <laughs> this is what we do yeah, at yeah. crown. We're, yep. you don't, you don't make crown because you can play crown book you play you make crown because you understand drumming fundamentals then we're yeah. gonna get to that point so i just think i think the youtube thing and like the band fame has been cool and like i certainly benefited from it but like i ate a lot of crap i marched seven years of drum corps yeah. to get an opportunity to not blow it i mean i could have very well right. totally messed that up so i'm partially yeah. lucky <laughs> I, I tell a lot of kids, man, that about that process, you know, I, I'm again, like you said, I'm not there, um, but I'm well aware of that. These things start from day one. Yeah. You know, like you just see yourself in the uniform and yes. the, the lot crowd and, you know, everybody around you and you're like soaking it in. But yeah, man, those guys aren't going to take you because you're not. Did you practice last night or did you... Do you know the music? You, uh, yeah, do you know the music? Have you looked at their technique and what they do and you have it? <laughs> That's a big yeah. one. That's a big yeah. one. Yeah, and, and I, I, don't, I don't discourage kids from going to places. I just... 
I, I try to bring it to them in the real way. You know, like if they're at freedom and they made freedom, you know, that's one thing. And that's an indoor and drum corps, two totally different things, even though we eat up the same plate sometimes. But, it, it, you know, I I'm you. Yes, you made it here. And I've seen kids that have barely made it into freedom. And now you want to go try out for Blue Devils. And it's like, that's not going to be a thing. You know, why don't you stay here a couple of years or go March open class, make your connections, get to know people, and then let's try to get you into that dream. And I, I'm always like, I, hey, you know, I know people out there. I'll call whoever and I'll, I, you know, watch out for this kid. You know, like, this is a good kid. He'll do a good job for you. But you still have to make it. You know, like, you still have to do the work. But you're right. Instant gratification, man. That's um, that's the world we live in. And these guys want that. But I, I just try to be real with them about it. You know, like, you're just not going to walk in the door. and You're not going to walk in the crown and just like, hey, everybody, my name's so-and-so. I deserve a snare spot. Like, like it's just not... I, happen. I think you have I, to be impressive, right? I think too. It's like when you watch a drum line, you know, even early season for DCI and especially in August, time is such a critical ingredient in what we're experiencing. Like yep. the kids watch the lots and they're like, Oh my God, it's so badass, It's so clean. You know, the, the vibe, the impenetrable like kind of vibe around a drum line that you just feel like you can't walk up to. Cause they're so, so strong in their identity. So intact. like, these are ours. Like you hours. can't, you can't show up. Like if you show up to an audition, even like, and I think the point you made about studying the style of each group is so important. Mm -hmm. Um, but if you show up and you have not drummed the hours of the people around you, they're going to identify that you don't have the chops. I mean, it's so, you know, yeah. it's so simple. It's, you have not drummed on the instrument to the extent that it is needed to just start on day one. Then we do yeah. tour. Then we do yeah. a full tour and we get to finals. And what you're seeing at finals is like this this summation of of so many hours of drumming and being in a drum line. And yes, it's very like fun and glamorous to like be in DCI finals. Like it's it's an amazing experience. But imagine being put in that experience without the the required hours up to that point. You would just totally yeah. crap the bed. I mean, it, that wouldn't be fun yeah. at all. That'd be horrible. No. No, that you would have a very horrible experience and you'd be getting yelled at every day. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's, it's, and I, that, that's what I try to prepare them for. You know, like, it's just, you're not going to wake up and run the marathon. You're just not. You, you need to train for it. You need to make sure your training's high. And, and uh, I always tell kids, you know, like, you need to get in touch with people in those organizations to see what they want and set it up before you get there yes. and, or talk to guys in the line or, or whatever. Have you done that? No, I haven't done that. Okay. Like you're not setting yourself up for success before you walk in the door. And you know, a lot of times those, the, the process, like you said, starts before you get there, you know, and then if you're lucky enough to get a call back, um, or if you're lucky enough to get a second call back, you know, and I, it's, it's, it's a, a hard process. And then, like you said, I, that instant gratification just comes in of, I, I, you know, they watched last year's show, but man, they don't know what you guys went through. You know, you might not have had rehearsal for three days due to rain or, you know, I don't know if bus breakdowns happen or, you know, like, oh, yeah. uh, the flu getting into a drum corps and you, you know, you're everybody's sick for a week and a half, yeah. you know, and, and they had to overcome, you're not looking at all those different things. Um, and, you know, even as instructors, some of you guys have families and you have to go home and you have to take care of things and bills and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, like, it's, <laughs> I just imagine it's like, process, yeah. just imagine, like, I just had this really stupid thought, but just just bear with me. Like, imagine if we auditioned kids for drum corps, but actually with like the what it would take to be in a drum corps. So instead of just like, you know, the weekend, we're like, OK, here's going to be here's your audition. We're going to keep you up for two straight days. And then yeah. on Sunday, we're going to go and we're going to rehearse. And we're going to see right. what, like these, like <laughs> we have kids at Crown just in the auditions by Saturday night. They're like mm -hmm. on the pads, like falling asleep. At, and they, they're like, well, I'm on the pad so I can kind of check out. It's like, 
Yeah. Do you realize that if you can't withstand a audition camp mentally, you have yeah. no chance. Like, what are the real things we're looking for in a kid? Like, the resilience when they're exhausted. Their ability oh, yeah. to fight through illness. Their yep. ability to, rec- to, to maturely recognize an injury and learn how to deal with it. Their ability to be in close quarters with people and not kill each other or honestly just be annoying, exactly. you know, like, and the, right, yeah. the kids show up to auditions are like, this is great. I'm playing, you know, I'm playing Diddy at the blue devils. It's like, right. yeah, but these guys are going to do this all summer and they're going to do it with a smile on their face because they know that they, they have the passion already to do that. And they have the skill where they don't have to be so analytical where, and this right. is like a big thing at crown. Like we, we audition these kids very particularly. And one thing that we're very like, very dial into is like we're not going to position someone to have a bad time i'm not gonna Mm -hmm. even if your heart is breaking because you're getting cut and you've tried out four years in a row if you're not ready if you're not physically or mentally or chops or whatever able if we Mm -hmm. just put you in there because you want it you're gonna have like drum corps is either like the most fun rewarding thing or it's a nightmare it's a nightmare nightmare, yeah you're Mm -hmm. stuck there I, i i agree with your idea i think you know all right, you know, show up on Thursday. We're going to put everybody on the bus. We're going to take two nine-hour drives. Yeah. You know? And then we're going to basics block. <laughs> yeah. And the heat. And then, yeah, we're going to get up. We're going to have two hours on the floor, and then we're going to get up. Here we go. We're in. You know, and then, like you said, on Sunday, all right, here's the book. Learn it. You know, or whatever. You know, like, yeah, that's that's the reality of it, you know, every day. You know, it's like training. If you were in the Marines, right, we're going to train you for war. This is what happens. We're going to, you know, throw grenades your way so you understand what that's like. Yeah, might not be a bad idea. <laughs>